I'm just being real, just being hashtag real life. someone hammering outside quite loudly. Good morning. I very last minute decided to turn the camera on. It's already 11. I've already been working for like two hours today. It is Monday morning. Yes, let's get it. Let's get this bun. If you've never seen this before, Hi, my name is Greta. I am a UX designer. I'm working from New York City. And I thought because I get a lot of DMs from people who are trying to get into UX design or people who are interested in UX design um, or people who just don't know what UX design is and just want to see what a UX designer does. I very last minute decided to turn on the camera. It's already 11. I've already been working for like two hours. Yes, welcome. I'm excited to bring you along the rest of this work day. Um, so to give you a recap, what has happened, what you have missed. So at 9.30, we had a UX research readout. So essentially one of the researchers um, who's working with my team to help us redesign a part of the site, she did a card sort. Um, and basically she just told us what the results were and she gave us a readout and a summary of her findings and her insights and recommendations and all of that. And I took notes during that, so that was great. Then at 10.30 to 11, we had stand up for my team. Basically, stand up is when you gather with your team, it usually happens in the morning, and you talk about what you did yesterday, so what I did Friday, what I'm gonna do today, and if I have any blockers, so anything that's stopping me from getting my work done. It's usually the UX team and then the engineering and then product. So UX, engineering, and product is a big trifecta. And that's basically my day so far. I had a smoothie this morning. It was delicioso. I had it with banana and some raspberries and some strawberries and some oat milk and some chia seeds and some almonds. It was Divino, divino. Now I'm having a little coffee break. I have a friend staying with me actually, my friend Shabon. He is visiting from Atlanta and he's staying with us. He was so funny, he was so excited to go to the local bodega and like experience that. Like just a quick, just a quick run to the bodega. How was your trip to the bodega? I I have this habit where I buy a coffee and I drink half of it and when I was younger as in like a year ago I would drink half of it and then I would be like I would leave it out and then it would go bad and then I'd have to throw half of it away so now just because I've learned my habits I was like you know what let me when I get my coffee I'll pour half of it out into like a separate cup and then put the other half in the fridge so that I can save the other half for the next day. So that way I have coffee for two days in a row. It's divine. So that's what I did. This is the other half of the coffee from yesterday and it's like better than it was yesterday. <laughs> yes, I am back at my in my layer in my room that is very empty as you can see i really need to get some kind of like art piece but anyways because this year's researcher she just did the readout for um, this card sort that she conducted if you don't know what a card sort is it's basically a technique where you get um 
very quick, it's pretty quick feedback from participants about what's important to them. So let's say if you're trying to build a website, you would give them um, a bunch of different cards. Now there's like so many tools where you can do this online, so you can do this virtually, but let's say you're in person, you have different cards and on each card you write a different element of your website. So maybe the about you page or the about page, the products page, customer reviews, a bunch of that kind of stuff. And you put it in front of them and they organize it in a way. They're hammering once again. It's very rhythmic too. It's like so we're gonna, the show must go on. It depends on what the goal of your card sort is. Oh my God, it's so loud. It's just New York things. So it depends on the goal of your card sort. So if you want to know, let's say like, what's the most important pieces of information that they need to see on your website, then you can have them order them in order of importance from least important to more important. Or you can have them group, group those elements in certain ways into different categories. So because she did this card sort and this researcher, she conducted this card sort and she got the feedback. She put all of you know her feedback into a presentation deck and she shared that out. And now I'm just gonna share this with my team because some of my team didn't go to this meeting. Then I don't have another meeting until 1 p.m. At one, I have a one-on-one -on -one with my manager and he kind of just asks me like, how's your work going? Are there any updates? Um, how's this project that you're working on going? Can you show me any, um, what's the progress on it? And do you, do you have any questions? Do you need any help? That kind of stuff. So usually I prepare for that just to make sure like I know what's going on in my work and I know like what my updates are or if I have any questions I need to ask him or if there's like, any problems I'm having, any blockers that I maybe need help with. Basically, I just need to catch up on some things before I talk to my manager at one. Okay, sent. There we go. Now I have about an hour and a half until I meet with my manager at one. So I'm working on a new experience for a specific type of customer that we have. Usually what I like to do before I start designing is I wanna, I talk to the UX researchers and I ask them, okay, is there any research that you've conducted or that you know has previously been, been conducted on this specific area that would be helpful for me to know before I start jumping into design. Cause I don't wanna just like start designing blindly, you know, like I wanna know what do the, what does this customer like about the current experience? What do they not like about the current experience? What do they expect to get from this experience? What is their goal? What are they trying to accomplish when they use this platform? Because there's not that much research on this experience that I'm working on, I needed to conduct a user test. I don't know, I just feel like it's a lot of fun to learn and hear what participants and customers have to say. And now this week, basically, I got back all of the user test sessions. So I go back and I listen to the videos and I pull major insights and try to find patterns of what people had to say that I can later share with my team and let them know like, hey, okay, so I conducted this user test and this is what I learned. And based off of their feedback, this is the direction that I wanna go with my designs. So I'm currently in the process of reviewing the user test sessions. So the second project that I'm working on, which is like a huge, it's a huge project. I'm one of the two designers that's on this project. So it's a lot of responsibility. So essentially what I have to do for that before I meet with my manager is just work on a couple other design options. So I just talked your ear off. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm gonna listen to some musica. I'm gonna put on some like lo-fi.
it is so gloomy outside. I just like, I'm just sitting here and I just am falling asleep. <laughs> I'm so tired. I have some good updates to share with my manager. Um, my meeting is in four minutes. I just ordered a burger <laughs> for lunch. This is very unlike me. I usually cook during the week, but my groceries, I have none <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. And I was just really craving like a good fat burger, you know, like I just need the carbs. I just went through the designs. I came up with like three extra designs that I'm going to share with my manager. I just made dinner plans. Um, I'm just out here spending all the monies on food. Um, okay. Let me log on to this meeting. I hate being like a minute late because my manager is very timely. So I want to be there on time. Yes, that was good. He just let me know that what I'm working on is good. What I'm prioritizing is good. Walked him through some of my current designs that I was working on this morning. Me and the other UX designer, um, or the other UX designer and I that are working on these designs together, we're going to meet sometime this week and we're gonna share our designs to each other. We're, we're gonna give each other feedback before we show it to like product team and the other managers and everyone else basically. And it's lunchtime for me, baby. My lunch is on its way. It looks like tonight we're gonna go to it's called Cocoron. It is soba noodles, which I don't think I've ever had soba noodles. So I'm excited. That is my update. I think I'm gonna take like a five minute break or 10 minute break and just like sit on my bed. I love how I'm like, oh my God, why am I so exhausted? I literally went to sleep at like two in the morning last night. I always do that. I'm like, oh my God. Like, woe is me. Why am I so exhausted? Literally goes to bed at four in the morning. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of naps. Not that you asked. I just find like, sometimes they make me really groggy. But if I time them a certain amount of time, like I think the optimal that they said that I've read is like 21 minute naps are really good for you. It's when you nap for like an hour and a half <laughs> where your body's expecting to get like a night's rest. It's like, oh, okay, we're doing this. And then you wake your body up at like one after an hour and a half and your body's like, wait, I thought we were going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, working from home is freaking hard, man. Like no one talks about how like exhausting it is. Not in the sense that obviously you're not commuting, you're not having to engage with coworkers all day, but it's exhausting in the fact that you're just home all day. And I feel like that just makes you tired because you're not moving as much. And I think I've read or seen somewhere that moving your body more, expending more energy actually gives you more energy. I've realized that just because I work out for like 45 minutes in the evening doesn't make me an active person if I've been sitting down all day. That's being sedentary for 98% of your day. <laughs> so that doesn't count as being an active person. Like I need to go on walks, do yoga during the day. I need to do yoga in the morning or just stretch in the morning, break up my day with movement. That is my uh, two cents on working from home. <laughs> Also, I started watching the Squid Game and it's so good. Waiting on this lunch.
lunch has been had. I have like 10 minutes before I have a meeting with my product manager and a couple of other product managers. We're gonna discuss one of the, I have to be very broad here, but one of the experiences that I'm working on and there are other stakeholders on this project. So we're gonna have a touch base and just discuss um, progress on this project and um, they have some kind of update that they wanna tell the UX team. So I have that in like 10 minutes. So I am going to meditate. I'm gonna do Headspace. I did the entire course for anxiety, which is something that I personally struggle a lot with. Um, anxious thoughts um, not so much panic attacks anymore but sometimes I do get like very close to panicking <laughs> and now I'm doing one for focus I think it's called or distractions it's so easy to get distracted when you're working from home so I've been doing this course and it's really good so I'm gonna do a 10 minute session so I'm on session three now and yeah let's do it and then when you're ready we're gonna start in the usual way, eyes open and taking some nice big deep breaths. refill number two so after my meeting I was just finishing up or continuing working on those designs that I shared with my manager I'm working in Figma which we were working in sketch up until like last two months we switched over to Figma so I'm still like getting used to Figma I'm I would say I'm used to it now but there's just still so many things that I don't know how to do and I'm sure that I'm not even like aware that you can do on Figma. So what I like to do sometimes when I have like a little bit of time is I will watch YouTube videos about how to use Figma or like how to like level up your designs in Figma, which is actually the name of this video that I'm about to watch. It's called Leveling Up in Figma. It is a recording of one of their live demos that they did. It's an hour long. Let's do it. done I'm cutting myself off from work for the day I have to meet my friends at 7 so I'm gonna start to get ready get my face ready we're gonna get so soba noodles I think yeah soba noodles and I'm very excited I've never tried those before so I'm gonna get my moisturizer and fix this situation that's happening <laughs> I'm just FaceTiming Tony, my boyfriend. He is on FaceTime and he was like, can you just stay on FaceTime while I study because I want company and I was like, oh. so I'm muted and he's just like studying right there. Um, we're just like keeping each other company. But I am not gonna study. I was actually gonna do more work, but I was like, Greta, no. Like that's, that's not gonna happen you're tired. That is a problem for Greta of tomorrow, not today. Uh, so I am going to watch another episode of Squid Game. I am 
so excited. I'm so excited. BRB. <laughs> oh my God. So basically, I am now ready to go to sleep and dream about Squid Game. I swear, I'm going to have a dream about this show. It's just in my heart and soul now. Um, but okay, that, that being said, I'm going to go to sleep. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned a thing or two about what a UX designer does. And then I just wanted to show you a little bit more outside of just work, you know? Life is more than just what you do at your job. Buenas noches, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, besos. I'm so bad at ending videos. I never know how to end them. Okay, good night. <laughs>